never get old and that's one thing we're celebrating tonight as well as the cocktail culture. Welcome to the Lagos Cocktail Week where drinks, food and everything in between is what you're about to see. I'm going to be talking to a lot of people who have come out tonight to have fun and guess what? They will be sharing their cocktail experience with me. My name is Alesha Moyasaralua and this is Enyola Badmas TV. And all time favorites. Um, it's been fantastic, it's been great, and it's, it's an honor being here because you tend to see things you would not see on a normal day, and it's, it's an atmosphere for exposure for everybody. Do you understand? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into drinks, but trust me, I enjoyed myself. That's how many cups have you had? Say the, the one that everybody will be okay with, I mean, the one nobody will be okay with. You want everybody to be okay with I've had some that I've had to go and urinate it away because it's not working with my system. But I have lost count right now. How many cups of cocktail have you had tonight? This is my third and I'm buzzing in a good way. Well, how many cups are we going to? How many rounds do you want? Oh, I have seven more rounds. Ten is the magic number. Ten? I'm a Delta boy. This is what we do. Well, I'm a Delta, don't worry, I'm your kiss, kiss woman somehow. But really, coming out for the Lagos Cocktail Week, how does it make you feel? There's drinks, food, great people around. Kind of crowded, but in a good way because it's good people. I love it. It's a nice feeling. What up, everybody? My name is Uti Wachku. You're watching any Ola Badmos TV. Badu! Annika is definitely ready to party tonight. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Very well, thank you. How does it feel coming out tonight? Oh my god, it feels so good. And this is a perfect event because I've been at home for a while. And I was like, what should I come out to? And Feru said, you know what? There's a cocktail event happening somewhere, you know. Good drink, good food, and good people. So, of course, I'm out here. So, how many cups have you had so far? Uh, I'm a light drinker. I don't drink heavy. Plus, it's a school, it's a work day. So, some of us have to work tomorrow morning. So, this is uh, my first cup, actually. I mean, it's a lit night, you know. Anything that includes alcohol, people will surely show up. And that's what tonight is all about. So how many cups have you had? I've only had one so far. I'm more interested in the food. I'm so hungry. So how many do you intend to have before you leave here? Um, they said the after party is about to start, so we shall see. <laughs> but really, do you think that we can sustain the culture of cocktail in Nigeria? I mean, obviously, Nigerians love to have a good time. So there will always be alcohol and, you know, having alcohol is the opportunity for a cocktail. We have so many cocktail and mocktail vendors. We have so many restaurants, so many bars, so many clubs. So definitely cocktails are here to stay. Hey, this is Anto and keep on watching Eniola Badmus TV. It's good to help you step out tonight. Yes, it's amazing. I feel How do you feel? Oh, I feel really, really good. I can't wait to drink free drinks, eat free food, and just have a really good time. Yeah. I know you're just coming in, so I can't ask you how many cups have you had, but how many do you intend to have tonight? Woo! How many have you had? None. <laughs> really. I'm definitely going to have more than you. <laughs> like 10, 15, 20? Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe like five. There's work tomorrow. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, yeah, you know, the Lagos uh, cocktail is trying to promote cocktail culture in Nigeria. Do you think we can sustain this? 
I do actually. I mean, we've seen so many bars pop up. Um, and so many new places to visit in Lagos. I mean, one of my favorite things to do on the weekend is grab a cocktail with my friends. So it's definitely sustainable. Lagos is stressful. We need we need to relax. <laughs> do you live in Lagos? Do you know how stressful Lagos is? We can definitely sustain the cocktail culture. We, I, I think every Friday you, you like need a stiff drink, <laughs> you know? Just to like get through the week, for sure, of course. And I think, you know, our palettes are becoming a bit more sophisticated, so we like know what we like and what we don't like. And there's so many favorite things out there. Not for non-alcoholics, the mocktails are delicious. You know, we have the the gins, the rums, the vodkas. There's so much you can do with it. So, yeah. so how many have you had tonight? Not enough. <laughs> how many cups? Let's count. Um, I actually haven't had that much. I'm actually kind of like on a sugar fast, so I had like a sip of um, the first cocktails, which are delicious. I had to taste it. And then, but I've had mostly Ferus and uh, glass of champagne. You know, it's what it is. What it is. We love to have our fun. We love to party, and we work hard. So everyone should at least take some time out to just chill out and relax. Do you think we can sustain the cocktail culture in this country? Oh yes, we've been doing that for so many years. I mean, I travel all over the world, and sometimes I'm asking them for something as simple as a chapman, and they go, "We don't make it." I'm like, "Wow." Nigerian chap, man, you can't get it anywhere else in the world. So how many cups have you had tonight? Uh, just one, just one. I've been busy, I've been working. I feel like you're in the mood to shake your body. Yeah, I've been drinking, that's why. <laughs> Good to have you come out tonight, how do you feel? Um, I feel good. It's a nice um, wind down to Thursday, and um, I was part of this last year, so being here as a guest this time is, is different, so I'm enjoying it. All right, so what do you think is the idea behind bringing people out to just come wind down and, of course, have a lot of cocktails? Um, I wouldn't say wind down. Well, I mean, there's the wind down part of it, but I think they're selling the cocktail culture in Nigeria. A lot of people like, you know, their bottles and they know that savvy to cocktails uh, maybe I'll say maybe the high class people have the cocktail vibe but um, you know with this kind of event it kind of just passes through all of the demographic and make it a culture around everyone so how many people have you met tonight a lot <laughs> <laughs> all right what's going on lads we're live at the Lagos cocktail week my name is Bolly Lamo and you're watching any live Atmos TV don't touch that down and keep it locked Okay, so now it's time. Okay, Lagos, this is what we've been waiting for. It's now about time to announce the winner of the 2019 Lagos Cocktail Week. Bar Battle Finale in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's Eatery South.
great music, great company. There are quite a number of people I haven't seen in a long time. So it's so good to be out here at the Lagos Cocktail Week. And I'm going to have more because it's just so nice, you know. There's a variety and they all taste different and taste really nice. So I'm pretty excited about what's going on in this industry and I'm happy that we've gotten to this point and it only get, keeps getting better from here. Let's pour cocktail backwards very quickly. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's L-I-A-K-C-O-C-A. How are you doing? Tell us your name and how do you feel? Uh, my name is Shalom. I'm from South Italy and Shosha House. Uh, I feel so, so, so great. It's unbelievable. I I don't even imagine it. I can't imagine it. I'm going to be the uh, number one winner tonight. But really, how is the journey? I mean, the competition. How was it? The journey, the journey. Uh, for me, it has been originality from the beginning because I know preparing every ingredient takes step to step, and you have to balance your cocktails. It's all about creativity. Creativity. So we heard that this is coming with a lot of juicy prizes. You want to tell us about it? I can't, I can't, I can't imagine how happy I am right now. I can't express my feeling right now because the crowd, except when I'm alone, I start thinking about it. <laughs> so now, what are you going home with? Uh, I'm going home with a lot of excitement. But actually, the price, I don't really know what the price, but I know I'm traveling out of the country. Wow, amazing. Congratulations. I will wish you the best on your journey. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long journey to this point. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel great. I'm happy. I'm happy. How was the brain behind putting this together for many years now? Yeah, it was just, you know, for people in the industry to come together and celebrate the culture in, in Lagos. And do you think we can sustain this? Yes. I mean, it's not been easy, but with the support of the brand and everybody's been okay. And your brand is celebrating 10 years today. Yes, it is. How's the journey been? It's been I mean, it's challenges but we're here today so yeah all right because you're so good with cocktails we're going to spell cocktail backwards very fast s l i a t k c o c ah. <laughs> how many cup have you had tonight none I'm a, i want to party it's been such an experience, and yes, I just got on the keke to take me home because I remember the road that leads me home. Hey, people, I'm sure you enjoyed everything we brought to you today from the Lagos Cocktail Week. It's been a lot of drinking, a lot of eating, a lot of networking, just social fun and everything in between. And yes, I hope they'll be able to sustain this culture because we really do need this time out. Once in a while, right here in Lagos. This isn't a lot about most TV. I had just one cup, but hey, it was fun. See you guys at the next episode. It was amazing talking to you and bringing you this episode. My name is Alesha Moyosarulua.